hey there my golden girls and boys welcome back to my channel daniel founder of golden finds here i'm here to take you on a thrilling journey into the world of thrifting where hidden gems and incredible finds await join me as we dive into shelves filled with endless possibilities hunting for one-of-a-kind treasures and timeless vintage items whether you're a seasoned thrifter or just starting your thrifting journey this channel is your go-to destination for all things thrift related from radon halls estate sale ventures halloween christmas vintage items and so much more we'll explore it all also get a glimpse on how i style my thrift finds in my own home because as i always say decorating can be done within a budget a thrifted budget that is so don't forget to hit that subscribe button turn on notifications and join our thrift loving community and leave a comment so we can know each other more check us out on instagram as well to see some of my finds before they make it out on youtube let's dive into the exciting world of thrifting together welcome to another video on golden finds i hope you enjoyed today's feature and stay tuned for our next adventure and remember to thrift on our thrift session begins at savers you guys actually so i went stopped in into savers and found this beautiful painting of oranges i absolutely loved it and i thought it was really precious now jumping over to our goodwill stores first we have hearth in hand coffee canister it was missing the wooden spoon then the cocoa radon mug for two dollars and 99 cents it still has the original tj maxx tag and more raid done this flowers and garden box you guys i absolutely really love this what i unfortunately did not love was the price it was a little too expensive for my taste but it was really such a nice piece it would have been perfect for my neutral decor look here is some more raid done we have this flourish flower canny and it was $8.99 this vase was a little too pricey for me as well I kind of feel that's the same price that you would find it in store here is a Starbucks mug I do occasionally come across Starbucks mugs $7.99 you guys prices are really going up look at this Radon tortillas warmer oh my gosh you guys I have always been wanting one of these so bad and it's nine dollars and 99 cents i know that they're a little bit more expensive in store and this is still in really good shape it just had a few scratches here and there but still really nice to find here is this just bloom painting i think this is actually just a print inside a floating glass um frame and it was really nice i couldn't tell if it was hearth in hand but it definitely was giving me hearth in hand vibes here's some more ray dunn stir crazy this ceramic bowl love it i love these ceramic bowls they're perfect and i also found this very interesting stoneware bowl three dollars and 99 cents hey guys it is actually friday i normally start my thrifting vlogs thrift with me sessions on the weekend but it is friday and i follow oc goodwill that stands for orange county goodwill on instagram and they release that the color of the week which is a 50 percent off any sticker tag or anything that is priced in that color is 50 percent off the price tag so i have been on the lookout for new comforter sets and they get target liquidation items which i have shared with you guys before and i know that one of the ones that i wanted is actually 50 percent off so i'm here to hope you know that it's still here it's barely friday they change the colors on friday and then they last for a week until the next week they change it to another color so let's go ahead and check out what is in store with us for this thrift session weekend and we're starting it off with a bang on friday
make sure that you guys stay tuned there will be a haul at the end of this video here are some lemon boxes these were still brand new they're gorgeous perfect to store away little trinkets for your desk for your beauty vanity and i keep finding a lot of these ikea greenery pods these are normally like six or seven dollars at ikea so finding them at goodwill is definitely saving me a few dollars and this was five dollars and 99 cents it was very beautiful i love the tones of the dusty gold and the wood it really was such a nice piece not bad for the price it was a harry and david piece i've never heard of this brand but let me tell you the quality was definitely amazing and how adorable this was so cute this little trinket box three dollars and 99 cents with the little ducklings so precious and so cute oh i love it here we see a radon piece be happy i always find a lot of these at the thrift store you guys brand new still with a store tag here's some more radon salsa and guac i also come across a lot of these sets for radon and it's always cool finding them it just needed a good cleaning make sure you guys stick until the end i'm going to be sharing a haul of whatever i picked up from the thrift stores this weekend so whatever i picked up on friday and also on saturday so make sure that you guys stay tuned until the end so you guys can see what made it home with me from my orange county goodwill stores Now we will be vacationing soon so I have been on the lookout for new clothes to buy for our trip and as you guys can see these are items from Target. This is part of the Black History Month collection. I thought that was such a beautiful t-shirt. I really wish that it was in my size but unfortunately these were all too big for me and that's what I really love about Goodwill is that we get a lot of Target's clothing as well and we are going to be paying a lot less than what you pay for in a store so it's always so cool to see what i come across and here is a magenta mug not to be mistaken with a radon magenta does make radon products and there are some radon items that are marked magenta but this is not one of those you guys so definitely always be careful when searching in your thrift store for radon not everything that you see m stamp will be radon here is a thanksgiving little plaque this looks like it's either something from like hobby lobby or maybe like a dollar tree or i don't know but it was so cute and adorable here you guys can see this comforter set oh my gosh i definitely had to bring this home with me this is what i found happy saturday so we're continuing the vlog today you guys i just wanted to go ahead and say happy pride month it is june and that is the start of pride and of course it is very important to me i know it's not everyone's cup of tea and everyone has their own opinions but i am of course gay and part of the lgbtq plus community and this month is so special to me and I wanted to go ahead and share with you guys something that I found at Target. So Target right now has an LGBTQ plus pride collection. And I found this really cute sweater that I just cannot wait to wear today. But I wanted to come on and say happy Pride Month to everyone who celebrates it, who is part of the LGBTQ plus community, who has friends, family, anyone in your life that you are there for them and show them love and respect and you are just amazing. I wanted you guys to know that you are everything because it always is wonderful to have allies in our community. So let me go ahead and share with you guys. It's from Target, so let me share what it is.
So it's this beautiful sweater. This is the back of the sweater and the front of the sweater has the same logo but just the tiny hearts and it's so adorable. It's like these heart people and they are holding each other and it says Abracemos Nuestra Identidad which means hugging our identity or let's hug our identity and it is by founded by Jen and Vero two Latinas from South Texas JZD is a lifestyle brand that builds community and celebrates cultura which is culture every day we exist to empower you and remind you that your ancestors are always cheering you on so that is absolutely so cool so they have a lot of small shop owners um and brands for the Target Pride collection. This is the information for the brand JZD, celebrating Latina community and culture. So I absolutely love this. This was $28 and I cannot wait to wear it. Welcome to a thrifted versus styled session within my video, you guys. Here I will be showcasing my thrift finds and how I decorate them into my own home. As you can see, I am installing this art piece that I found thrifted at OC Goodwill. Now, I don't think I have ever shared this in a haul, but I found this for $6.99. And the paintings that you see to the right and left of me of the leaf stems were also thrifted from my Goodwill stores. They're absolutely gorgeous. I was so happy to have found two of the same prints and this definitely added so, so much needed decor into this wall where the headboard is of our bed. Now, not everything I find is thrifted. I found these at Target. We needed new pillowcases and I wanted them to be this beautiful white with some gold trim. And of course, I had to pick up the comforter set that I found thrifted and it's completely brand new from Threshold. And boom, we have our new comforter set and I decided to of course add more thrifted items this simply blessed ray done pillow is absolutely gorgeous and adds the perfect touches to our bedroom set so here is the final look i hope that this brings you guys a source of inspiration you don't have to spend too much money when decorating I do hope that you guys enjoyed the shopping session today for my oc goodwill stores and also the thrifted versus style mini session which i will actually go ahead and sprinkle on every few videos if i have something that i have for my home that i want to use to actually decorate with because that's mostly the main thing that i do when i do thrift is a lot of the items that i do find are going to be ultimately for my home or my future home what i like to always say to tell joe to you know keep giving the excuse of bringing more and more and why i bring more because i'm like this will be perfect for our future larger home, which, you know, we're still working on. But you just can't escape a good deal when you see it because you will never see it again, especially at the thrift store. So let's go ahead and get started with the haul. So again, I'll go ahead and sprinkle the, you know, the thrifted versus styled scenes every here so often um, when I find items that I have to decorate my home with because I just figured, you know what, it's going to take me too long it's going to be a long work in progress for me to do a, a thrifted versus style video which would compile like everything that i've done to my home using thrifted finds and estate sale finds so i'm just like you know i don't think that's gonna work i think i just want to sprinkle it here and there in every so often you know in the videos that i do so you guys can see and again it's all meant to be for a source of inspiration for you guys to check out your thrift store and see what is out there work because you can decorate on a budget you don't have to spend hundreds thousands of dollars when you're looking for like decor pieces and thrift stores offer so much and different aesthetics and looks and you guys will find always something and it's never ending because you can always keep going back they always have new stuff so let's go ahead and get started with the haul i do have some items that i picked up you guys and where to start um there's one item that's actually not from um goodwill so uh, but i will share that as well let's go ahead and have 
some of the ray done so i did pick up the recharge ceramic stand piece so this is meant for your phone you can have it like on your desk or if you need somewhere to prop your phone up uh, or you can put it portrait style or landscape um it probably would be better for landscape just because you are able to put your charging cord and have it laying down and the charging cord can face either way so this was a definite definite for me it says recharge so cute it was still brand new it was originally from home goods nine dollars and 99 cents i got it for 5.99 at my goodwill store so i knew right away that i wanted to use this um in my desk my work desk i currently have a wood one that i got from ikea a few years ago and i just i think i want to rechange it out i could always use that wood one in my other desk where i have my other computer where i do all my editing and like my comments and all that stuff from youtube so i'm like this is going to be perfect so i knew this was a must then i also picked up the blessed birdhouse I really don't need any more birdhouses, you guys, but I just cannot escape a good birdhouse find, especially for the price. Goodwill does a really good job at pricing Raydon birdhouses, $5.99. It says blessed on the front, and it has the birds on the back. Now, this is not new. It doesn't have, usually I find a lot of Raydon with the new store tag still. This is newer. It does have a number at the bottom of the Ray Dunn stamping, so it's not old, but I just thought it was so cute. It's blessed. You know, blessed is a very perfect word to decorate your home with, so I just had to grab it. Moving on to some greenery. I have been very lucky to have found these like i keep finding them everywhere when i go thrifting which just means that a lot of people you know they buy them they don't really like them after a while or they use them temporarily like this one so i keep finding a lot of the ikea potted greenery which i absolutely love because i use these for my hutch so i keep picking them up because these are absolutely perfect they're easy to fill in any little space any little pot that you have whether it's ceramic or wicker or whatever it may be these are your go-to especially if you don't have the time you don't have the energy to keep a plant alive it's better just to get a fake one so at ikea which you guys can see this is from ikea I got this one. It looks like somebody did use them for a Winnie the Pooh theme for baby, maybe like a baby shower or a birthday party. So this is $3.99 at Goodwill. I know that these are like six or seven dollars at Ikea. So I'm definitely saving a few dollars there. I got this one and I also found this one as well. As you guys can see, they also used it for the Winnie the Pooh party or baby shower three dollars and 99 cents so these were an absolute must i usually do keep an eye out for these because i need them more and more for my decorating throughout my entire home and i thought this was going to be absolutely perfect now those greenery potted plants from ikea i knew would be perfect for what i found next i may keep Fine. I might keep an eye out for more of them because I kind of want them to all match and I have found ones that match from the thrift store uh, with the greenery from Ikea so I just might wait but ultimately I want to put some in this. This is such a beautiful piece. It is like a wood barrel bin. It has handles very interesting it's still brand new with the tag it was five dollars and 99 cents at goodwill you guys can see it's absolutely gorgeous it has tin at the bottom metal handles it's like a dark like matted gold in a way kind of like a powder gold and then the wood barrel it's absolutely gorgeous so this is originally a harry and david made exclusively for harry and david llc um so i've never heard of this brand let me know if you guys have in the comments below i thought it was absolutely a must especially because i love the neutral tones and it's perfect for a farmhouse so ultimately i do want to get similar ikea planters like this i could possibly fit a total of like maybe three 
maybe four if it's not super squished but i want to ultimately create something with this but with the same matching greenery as you guys can see i, th I think it's going to look absolutely so cool this is perfect for a centerpiece it can go on my hutch it can go like on a center table there's so many possibilities that i could use this for and i could always change it out for the season you know for christmas thanksgiving fall easter you name it speaking of holidays the next piece was a definite must so i did pick this up it says in everything give thanks and i just absolutely fell in love with this it's it's neutral it's absolutely gorgeous now i did try to google lens this to try and see if i could find the maker because it doesn't have anything on here as far as the maker it was three dollars and 99 cents it says that it was originally i guess purchased at the old chicago antique mall so i think this was at a point at, a, at an antique store so it looks like it's real wood but it actually is not i believe this is actually um a, i don't think it's acrylic i want to say that it's probably resin it feels like it's a resin material and it's just painted and re to resemble wood and someone did paint over the letters because i did find a matching one but they were calling it chalkware i don't know if that's what this is but they painted over the letters in like this really dark dark gold finish and i don't really like it i don't know if i might be able to safely strip that off you know with just some water or something i don't know i don't really want to ruin it too much but i again i'm already starting to look for my neutral pieces for the thanksgiving season and i cannot wait because i'm also going to be decorating the hutch with neutral tones for the fall the next item i'm not too sure exactly if this is a hearth in hand i feel like it is it feels like it's something that's definitely hearth in hand which is sold in target hearth in hand with magnolia it is a just bloom picture and i believe this is called a is a floating glass picture frame i think is what these are called when you know the picture is actually just floating within the glass so i got this for four dollars and 99 cents you guys can see right here and it has have a little chain where you can hang this on your wall not too sure where i will hang this but i just thought it was absolutely so cute i love the print just bloom so gorgeous loved it i'll have to wait and see where exactly i'll find the right place for it and the last piece of ray done i just had to you guys i had been wanting this for the longest and you know i put it out in the universe there's a lot of things that i put out into the universe for me to find thrifted and i absolutely love it when it happens and the universe gifts me what i've been asking for so i of course picked up the ray dunn tortillas canny this is absolutely so precious and adorable only ten dollars i know for a new one in store um i believe they're 16.99 and you guys this still has the brand new tag it's 16.99 as you guys can see this was originally from home goods and this is from 2022 so this isn't even that old but it does need a very very good cleaning it actually <sighs> smells interesting when i found it it smelled kind of almost fruity-ish like some type of wax smelt got into it it was very interesting i i didn't understand why it smelled like that but ten dollars i saved myself a good six dollars buying it thrifted at my goodwill store ah i absolutely love this um I eat tortillas, but not as much as hubby does. He loves eating tortillas, you know, especially on Taco Tuesday and when he has pozole and all that stuff. It just really, really, really needs a really good cleaning. But at $10, it was a definite yes, 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 yes for me. Now, the last find, you guys, for the haul is the Savers find. Now, there is a picture from Threshold. It is an art print art painting it's not a print it's a painting i'll go ahead and add a picture right here about the painting that i'm talking about i absolutely loved this painting so much and people are reselling it for a really high price so i figured it's a target item as many of you guys know 
There's always a lot of Target items in my thrift store here in Orange County. So I figured, okay, the piece is a little older. It, I think it might be from last year or this year. I'm not too entirely sure. I know it's not available on in store anymore, um, but you are able to buy it online. So most likely it is from this year. Um, but I absolutely fell in love with that orange painting. I thought it was perfect. It's beautiful and stunning and it literally is perfect for a farmhouse decor. I was like, oh my God, this is gorgeous. Now I thought, you know, maybe I'll run into it. I'll throw it out into the universe. You never know because I do find a lot of Target items and a lot of the times I'll, I do find a lot of the threshold art pieces and the Hearth and Hand with Magnolia pieces and they're brand new. I get them at my thrift store. I pay half of the price that I get them at Target. So I'm like, why not? If I can find it, I find it. But I found this one. Now I'm going to angle it, you guys, so that way you don't, don't get the glare. But look at this gorgeous art frame. This is beautiful. It is from Savers. I found it at Savers for $10.99. I did use a coupon uh, because I donated some items. So if you go to Savers, I believe they're called um, Super Thrift at, in other states. Uh, or uh, Yeah, I think so. And you guys, this is gorgeous. Look at the art print. I'm going to go ahead and try to zoom in a little bit closer with it on my phone camera. As so you guys can see, Look at the oranges. They're beautifully, beautifully detailed. The basket, the orange peel. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. Now it's not threshold. This is actually, uh, the art print is called Oranges by Pauline Ebel Campanelli. Absolutely beautiful. It's not threshold again, but this definitely definitely fills my heart with joy i don't know what do you guys think is this actually a much better find the frame looks black but it's actually like a very dark green like a foresty green and what do you guys think let me know in the comments below this is better or the threshold piece is better let me know. I would love to hear your opinion down below. That is the end of today's video, you guys. I do hope that you guys enjoyed this thrift session and a thrifted versus styled session as well and the haul. Let me know in the comments below. As always, you guys know that I love and appreciate for you to drop a comment down below. Let me know what item from either the shopping session, from the thrift haul, you would have picked up is there something that caught your eye right away that you would have picked up as well if you would have seen them in your thrift store let me know in the comments below if you guys like what you see it really really helps if you guys hit that like button and youtube will know that you guys are liking my stuff it will then go ahead and push it out more into the algorithm and people can discover my channel Speaking of discovering, thank you so much to those of you who have jumped from Golden Finds over to my Spanish content channel, El Arte de Segundiando. I really appreciate that you guys are supporting me and some of you do not speak the language because you have told me and it means so much that you guys, you know, go on over and still support me and watch the video. It really, really, really means so much to me. And I am happy to say that my channel is actually growing really quick on my Spanish content. I was very shocked when I saw it the other day. I was, I'm already at over a hundred subscribers. It's so crazy. I am so excited for my Spanish content channel. But for those of you who do not know, I do have a second channel, which is dedicated to the same thing, the love of thrifting, but it is in Spanish content. And you might be asking, well, isn't it basically the same video that you're doing, but it's just in Spanish? Absolutely not, you guys. So that was one thing that I really wanted to emphasize when I created a new channel. I told myself I did not want to simply do a copy and paste and just do a Spanish voiceover. No, no, no. You will see all new content. It will not be content that is featured here on Golden Finds. So I feature all new thrift sessions in that channel. So definitely if you are interested in checking that out, the link to my channel will be down below. And you're more than welcome to check me out as well for those of you who are interested. 
so until next time you guys i hope that you guys have a wonderful day and that you are out there shopping thrifting finding treasures whether it's at the thrift store or at your own store make sure to stay tuned because there's going to be a lot of spectacular fun we also have an upcoming trip so there's lots of content coming your way which i am super excited especially for spooky season i'm gonna go ahead and last just as last year i was out shopping at all the stores not just focusing on my thrifting usually i change that out once i get to the middle of the year when we start approaching the holiday season so you guys will see stuff from target just like i did last year and previous years you guys will see like you know the stores like bath and body works or um any store that has stuff out you guys will probably see videos and hauls and so on and so forth so until next time you guys thank you so much again for the love Mwah. Bye, everyone.